It is a beautiful day, man. I've been waiting on a day like this. If you've been watching the videos recently, it has been rainy and the salt water has pretty much been unfishable. Today is freaking gorgeous. I'm so proud of myself. We stopped at a little spot and I actually cast netted some bait. So we are good to go. We'll talk more about that here in a second. But yeah, man, we're gonna be fishing the big old pier. I have some really, really cool stuff to tell y'all. It's good news. And also maybe possibly something bad we'll see here in a second yeah man let me stop talking let's get out there let's see what we can do all right we got our bait we got a rod and we got a dream let's go pay real quick if you guys don't know every time i go on this period of fish is five dollars so it's nice you know to save money any way we can like on bait catch it ourselves good luck out there man yeah, I thanks. pretty good from guy just left so yeah to cool thanks man and that's what you want to hear he said somebody said it's pretty good so here is the beach you guys know i'm not the best at cast netting i'm not even really that good at all one day we'll be the pancake champion but we actually did end up catching hold on let me show y'all here i'm surprised dude so that's a smaller one we have some smaller shrimp we have some bigger shrimp and we have one big freaking mullet now here's the thing right in saltwater fishing you never know what you can catch especially you know when you use stuff like shrimp squid clams but fresh bait like this fresh shrimp we're already doing pretty good and then mullet Ooh, it's looking pretty packed up here that's the one thing i want to talk about that might you know be some sad news i'm not exactly sure yet but it seems like remember how i kept hyping up oh the mullet the mullet are coming it's going to be a big mullet run we had like two weeks straight of bad weather and super blowy winds like unfishable waters I don't know if the mullet are not going to show up here in North Florida. So that is kind of sad a little bit, but we might go down south. Try to get the back end of that run. I don't really know. I, I'm not from here, so we're just kind of playing it by ear. Maybe some mullet will show up today. But fresh mullet, like we got a pretty decent one too. Like anything will bite that, man. We can get big old tarpon, redfish. Yeah, there's definitely a good amount of people out here. That might be a good thing. Oh, really? Yeah. How's it going, man? Good. Anything going on out here? Uh, Slow? All right, so I started off with the float rig and I was drifting around a shrimp just waiting for that bobber to go down. Let me tell you, I fished this for hours. I saw some people hook up on kind of like a similar rig, but uh, our bobber stayed afloat. <laughs> After a while of no bites, I decided it was time to switch up the approach and possibly the bait. Something. Oh. Close, but he might go, man. He might. That'd be good. That'd be good. I was on the one mullet I caught. That took a while. Oh, you have too. Hey. 
right here. That's almost 15, so he's an easy keeper. Yeah. All right, here we go. That was the only mullet that I caught in my casting. I had that on for probably like 30 minutes. Whew, sometimes all it takes is one. Right now we just got some shrimp on there. People are catching stuff. Let me just see what else we could possibly catch. I mean, this is a nice shrimp on here too. Nice juicy, thick shrimp. Some variety, I can dig it. Oh, geez, it's crazy. We've been out here for hours, like, not even joking. It has been hours of me standing here with there's so many GoPro batteries, so many shrimp, and finally starting to pay off a little bit. That is a baby little black drum right there. These things get huge. Ooh, there's little baby whiskers. All right, there it goes. All right, right down. Near the piling. This has been a cool day. I've seen a lot of uh, people out here. It's probably why I'm not talking a lot, a lot. Just because I'm trying to respect the fellow fishermen and it's kind of close quarters today. But I've seen a lot of catches too. Redfish. Couple flounder. Couple trout. A bunch of uh a bunch of jacks. There was one point, oh look at that, I just got bit. There's one point where the jacks were just swarming everyone. Somehow I didn't get eaten by a jack. Oh boy. There we go. Almost got snagged on the pier. Take a quick look around the pier right here. There's a lot of people, but more than that, there's a lot of rods that people have spaced out. Just taking up space. So like you kinda might not have a spot. Crazy. It's actually starting to feel like fall here in Florida. It was a lot cooler yesterday and today it's pretty like, you know, it's not cold. It's actually pretty toasty. But it's not like hot, hot. It's getting down to like the 50s slash 40s at night. It's feeling so freaking good, man. By the way, quick update. You guys can probably see I'm wearing two shoes. I think my foot is starting to heal. It's been long enough, right? It's, it's complicated. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. But yeah, hopefully we can get back on this thing soon. By the way, you see this? You see these shoes? See how dirty they are? So the other day, Kelsey and I for our anniversary since we're like nerds. I don't know what normal people do for their anniversary, but we went to a dig site. We are super big into fossils, but most importantly, shark teeth. It's just like the coolest thing ever to me. These, these fossils are millions and millions and millions of years old. Here's a container that we filled up just from like walking on beaches. You guys know in a lot of these videos where I'm, I'm fishing, I like bend down. I'm like, oh look, shark's tooth, shark's tooth. So that's, that's got some weight to it. We also have another one right here. This was from a recent outing, but look at, can you guys see this right here? Okay, so look at this. This is a great white tooth. Kelsey actually found this when we were on the beach, just walking, super cool. That is a great golden dog. And then this one, it's unfortunate that it kind of got broke, but this is apparently the ancestor to the gray white, I believe, and uh, that's called the lesser white. Look how freaking sick. It's just a freaking old fossil. Like who knows, we were, we were the first people to touch this in millions and millions and millions of years. By the way, we're gonna be cooking up the flounder we caught and talking about that real quick. This air just came on, but just give me two seconds. As I said, Kelsey and I went to a dig site and if you guys don't know, like in Florida, there's just shark teeth everywhere underground. I guess all of Florida used to be underwater at one point and there's just these shark teeth everywhere. So we went to a dig site, which yielded some pretty sick finds. There's one of the teeth right there. You guys can see we have a whole, what is this, like a Chinese soup takeout container full of 
little smaller teeth. If you're wondering why like the tops are lighter, it depends on like what sediment they're like fossilized in. See how like the top of this one is a different color, it's like darker. Anyway, that was cool to find all those teeth, but what I was specifically after and what I've been after since like this little obsession has started is a big freaking tooth. And here they are, man, look at this. Oh my gosh. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys saw the day I found these. Dude, this is freaking insane. This is a tooth to a megalodon shark, a prehistoric beast that if you guys look on the internet, I mean, it's bigger than your nose, man. I've been after one of these for a long, long time. And I was like, dude, I don't know if I ever find one. In the dig site, we found this. And then we found another one. Look how beautiful that one is, man. So freaking sick. Where's the lighting? There we go. It's just crazy, the animal. Like, I just can't even comprehend the mouth. And it's freaking nuts. We also have some other meg fragments. I found this one, dude. This would have been an absolute unit of a tooth if we would have found the whole thing. But that is, yeah, another piece that belonged to a big old freaking meg. Kelsey found this one. Look how cool that one looks marks on there so that's what we did the other day for our anniversary maybe i'll make a shark tooth video sometime i know some of y'all might like that what's up man you got anything to say today i was trying to edit this video and he was he kept trying to put his face on my laptop i was like dude he's, he's really tired today it's funny because like from these videos you guys probably think he has like no energy ever but this boy is whew. he likes to p-l-a-y if you know what i'm saying he's a retriever you throw something he just he, he's the happiest guy in the world to retrieve but yeah i think that's pretty much everything caught up foot is uh on its way to be healed hopefully we're taking some stuff that's kind of like put the inflammation down it's been a rough like a lot of months here so hopefully the sooner we can get that fixed the more we can do these different kinds of videos that i've been wanting to film as i've been talking about yeah kayaking and just a lot newer stuff. I will be so happy, dude. We could, we could literally do anything. Anyway, that was a weirdish kind of day on the fishing pier. You ever have one of those days where like, you see people around you catching stuff, especially on a pier, and you're like, oh, like let me put that exact thing on that that guy's using, and you just like, you just don't get bit. It was kind of one of those days. It was pretty slow though for a while. Nobody was catching anything. And then, you know, some people were you know, here and there. I'm just happy because the patience finally paid off and I know we just did a video recently where we went to that pier and we caught a big old flounder. Hey man, I was not expected to do it again and that was on the one and only, how crazy is that man? We caught one mullet and the one mullet we did catch got us like the, the keeper fish for the day. It would have been cool if we had a bigger black drum too. I have caught a really big black drum but I've never caught like a decent eater one. When they get really big, they get kind of like fatty ish i guess you could say and a lot of them have worms but people say black drum like the keeper size which are a lot smaller are actually pretty good to eat we'll have to try that someday but you know what i am not complaining because we literally officially have less than a week that you can keep flounder here in the state of florida the season is closing very very soon so i'm not complaining about keeping another flounder and i gotta admit flounder is probably top three and it's not three or two on my list of species to eat man. i freaking love these little pancakes it is a pancake party we're celebrating the foot hopefully dude if you guys could all just send some positive thoughts and stuff, because like if this foot actually heals, like I know I keep saying it, but this would be like the freaking, oh man, it has been such a crutch. I've actually had to use these things a couple times too with this freaking foot because it's just, it's been such a mess. Please man, if this thing freaking heals, let me tell you, there's going to be some sick freaking videos. Thank you guys for the patience. Just know like, the, like once this thing heals, the videos are going to just be way better. All right, so here is the fish. We'll put that there for a second. In a bowl, we are just going to crack, not one, boom, two eggs in the bowl. So here's the fish. This is, by the way, half of half of the fish. Sometimes I get comments, they're like, that's all the fish you got off the fish. This is literally half of half of it. Hot sauce. By the way, shout out to these apples in the back. It is apple season, or at least apple cider season. All right, mix that up right there. Now we got our several stations. This is going to be hopefully freaking delicious. So we've got some flour and some breadcrumbs. And you already know, man, we've got my favorite seasoning of all time, the static seasoning. If you guys have not tried it yet, link is down in the description below. We're gonna season the heck out of the flour right here. And we're gonna put it in this too. If you guys are not familiar, this is a premium quality Cajun inspired seasoning, non-GMO, gluten-free, and it is freaking fire on everything, but especially some fresh fish. Put a little bit more on there. 
and we should be good. All right, there we go, mixed it in. It's kind of hard to work with flour and film at the same time, especially when you're like filming yourself. All we're gonna do, boom, boom. Hold on, I gotta put the camera down. Y'all know what's going on, man. We put it in the flour. Shake, 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 shake. Back in the egg. Boom! All right, and there we go. We had two beautiful, they look like little chicken cutlets, don't they? Beautiful little pieces of flounder, freshly caught. We're actually gonna try to throw this in the air fryer as well. Extra virgin olive oil. It is supposed to be healthier for you because you cook it in less oil, but we're just gonna kind of douse this whole thing in oil. And I know, man, y'all don't gotta tell me. I'm working on it, but sometimes it's just easier to use like paper plates and stuff when you're doing stuff, right? I know you shouldn't, it's bad for the planet. The less waste, the better, but we can always improve, right? I'm not even gonna preheat this or anything. I'm just gonna put that in, put this in. Boom, um, I don't know what time. Let's do like eight minutes, 390. I don't know, that sounds good. That's cooking up, that's already smelling pretty good. I do just wanna say though, again man, thank you so much to everybody who has uh, purchased a bottle of static seasoning. It truly does mean the freaking world. Just know that watching these videos is more than enough. Like, I appreciate y'all for hanging out here. I feel like I always gotta say that, but when y'all buy a bottle of static, I mean, we are literally starting a movement. Not only of like unique fire seasoning, like you can't go to the store and buy something like this, in my opinion, at least. But also, I mean, it's just, you know, I wanna show that you could do anything you want in life. How cool would it be to start from the very freaking bottom and then like one day get into stores, one day be able to lower the prices, one day be able to get this in like every home of everybody, you know what I'm saying? All right, my camera just died. So while that's charging, let's take a look. Ooh, dude, it's looking, it literally looks like chicken, doesn't it? Little chicken cutlets, all right. Let's give that a flip. A little bit more oil on the top. A little bit more cooking. That's pretty much almost cooked, to be honest. All right, unplug that. Let's look at what we got here. Woo! Dude, that smells so freaking good, man. It smells a little spicy. Let's plate this up. A little ASMR there for y'all. All right, on a scale of one to freaking delicious. Just look at that, man. Literally looks like a chicken tender. Should I just bite it? Well, peep the white fish meat. We only had it in there for probably about six or seven minutes, but that is, that is looking freaking good. That is tasty. Needs a little bit of something. I don't know if y'all can see that. I just sprinkled some salt on the top. We didn't really salt it. Oh, that's hot. Oh my God, dude. This is so good. The only other thing I'm gonna do, a little bit more static on the top, just to get that real intense static flavor. And then even get a little crazier. We're gonna put a little bit of hot honey on this bite. All right, now this is officially some freaking fish, man. Can y'all see that right there? Like a little hot honey on this bite. Static seasoning, hello, focus. You got the salt on there and you got the static already mixed in with the, the breadcrumbs and the flour. All right, man, this is gonna be a good bite. This one's for y'all. Don't wanna burn myself again. Especially with the hot honey, dude. Man, I wish y'all were here to try this. It's just like one of those things you just need somebody else here for, you know, to be like, yo, try this. Can't wait to see Kelsey's reaction, but that is pretty much gonna do it here for this video, man. I am going to demolish the rest of this, and we still have a whole other half of flounder that we do not have cooked yet, so that I'm excited about that. I'll say it hands down, this is one of the best catchy cooks we have done in a freaking while, man. This is delicious. Just imagine even throwing a little static butter on the top of that. Definitely let me know what other catchy cooks you guys wanna see. Thank you guys for all the freaking support, and as always, man, this will be down in the description below. All I gotta say is let's keep this rolling, man. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where